Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the DYS XSD 30 amp V2 ESC. Now this was requested a lot by you guys but it was out of stock at the time so that's why it took so long to get here. Um, so let's just quickly talk about its specifications. Um, so this is rocking, this can, this is a BL Heli 2S firmware and it's rocking a BB2 chip which can run DSHOT 600, 300, 150 out of the box as well as I think multi shot and one shot. So that's good on that part. It can withstand a 3 to 5S LiPo. That's good. No regulator on board. No need really uh, with these kind. Um, and uh, let's see the current. The It doesn't really say how much uh, the burst current on this, but we could safely say 40 maybe. 40 for 5 seconds. So it's just, that's just me making it up. Um, however, it's, it's stating that it has a high current burst rating, but maybe ours is within that range, so let's hope so. Um, what else do we have here? Um, that's really it. Oh yeah, what it comes with, it comes with two heat, heat shrink wrappings, other than the one that's already on, and with the uh, plastic uh, ESC protector box thingy, so you can put that on your quad. Um, so let's just take a look at it now. Um, when I removed this for the first time, I was expecting to find a heatsink, and there was no heatsink. But, I mean, you know, this is a $16 ESC, so it's it's in the upper range ESC. It's in the high-end ESC range just because of its price point. So, I was expecting that, but that's fine. Um, also, looking at the back, I don't see any tantalum capacitors. So... I, I was I was actually also expecting that maybe I should not expect anything so maybe they had some kind of figure out a way with all these capacitors and in a specific orientation and um, series how they've set them up to withstand noise on the higher frequency and the lower frequency so that's going to be uh, we're going to figure that out once we test it so I guess I have high hopes for this guy since he is in a very uh, in, in the high uh, high end ESC price point here and a lot of people are using them so a lot of people say they're good so I'm very curious to test this guy out so let's put him on the bench and let's get started Alright guys, so the DYS XSD 30 amp V2, how did it do? Well, I was a little bit afraid since it didn't have the tantalum capacitor, but actually it did very, very, very good actually. I was, I was really not expecting this. I was possibly, I was expecting the excess to be even better, but in noise perspective, this was less, not just a bit less, but it's noticeably less. Uh, the voltage, I'll have this on the screen, the, the voltage spike on this guy was a 19.8 volts, which is just amazing. Um, and again, I remind you, uh, for voltage spike, anywhere between, you know, 16, which is the battery, 16.8, 16 up to 27 is the maximum of the safe zone. Above that, it's a bit scary. Above 33, you're bound to blow something. So this is 19.8 volts, and the maximum of the safe zone is 27, so this is just beautiful. Be absolutely beautiful uh, the voltage drop this was a 13.8 this is the lowest it got uh, which is very good also so this has a low chance of VTX blackouts with, with very noisy motors uh, I would say the if it hits 11.8 volts that's the beginning of the scary zone so anything below that is scary uh, even 12 is a bit scary because the Razor Star 30 amp V2 is hit 12 volts and 11.8 and I had blackouts with those so I would consider maybe anything above 12.5 volts is good but above 13 volts is just awesome so this is a 13.8 volts which is very good 
screen. Now, I compared it with the DYS XS, uh, just because I thought it would, uh, the XS is cheaper and probably be better than this guy, but actually I was, I was wrong by a little bit, not by much. Um, the DYS XS was 11.2, so, um, that's good. Um, I didn't have blackouts with that guy, uh, but I was not running a 12 volt regulator, so that also you got to put that into perspective. So it's good. Device access is still good. Uh, it's, don't forget it's $11, so it's actually very good for that price. Uh, the max is 20 volt. It's way within the safe zone, which is just absolutely perfect. So um, is this guy good? Um, from the testing, actually, it seems like he's very good, and a lot of people are using him, and um, I don't see a lot of people complaining. However, I do. Ha I just have little things, just notes here. I wish they added a heatsink. That would have just made him a bit more um, durable from impacts, kind of, a little tiny bit. And also keep him cool, keep the hardware alive longer here. Uh, the capacitor is, is it's fine. And no need for tantalum capacitors. They did it just perfect here. I don't know how they've organized them in parallel or in, in, in series, but they, but they did a very good job. So overall, this is a good ESC. Um, um, it's good. It's nothing like wow, wow, but it's it's very good. The voltage drops and the voltage spikes are, are very good. And the noise also, it's very good. So I, I really do, I would buy this. I, I, if I had to choose, I would actually get this. I, I would not stay away from it. So this one's a good one. Uh, if you bought it, you bought it. You have a very good buy. I have not used it, but if anyone's used it, please leave a comment down below. And just give me the status of how is it. Was it durable? Was it not? Uh, because I only just got one. So... Um, uh, maybe I'll later on I'll get more and then put them on a build, but yeah, so yeah, so this is a good one. Um, so that's gonna conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope it helped someone out there. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, just feel free to let me know. And um, if I if I do help you, if I've helped you make your right purchase or just something, it'd be very awesome if you could use my affiliate links down there. They would, they would go a very long way to the channel. Um, I'll be able to bring actually four ESCs to actually install them on quads. But um, yeah, so if you can, that'd be great. If you can't, that's also totally fine. Also, uh, your comments and your likes mean the world to me. So yeah. So that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I will, and that, that's really it, yeah. So take care, and I will see you next time. See you guys.